All right, so we're gonna show you guys how to use the outdoor awning. Um, do, do, do. It's pretty nice, but make sure there's no wind. So today there's no wind, nice day. You wanna use the awning. Um, so to do that, there is, oh, you can come in here and see, there's a button right here. That says in and out, right? So in just retracts it in, right? And then out is gonna retract it out. So now I'm gonna push the out button and then Min's gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so you push the button and we're gonna lift it out. out. Comes out kind of slow, slow and steady. And the door can stay open for this, and all you have to do is actually hold the awning button down. Um, and you want to extend the awning. But as soon as you see that sticker facing you and the flap is completely down, stop. Yep, so you see the sticker here? Don't and the flap it. there. Mm hmm. Because the motor doesn't automatically stop itself, so it tends to roll back up on itself, and then that ends up stretching the awning material. Yeah. Another cool feature you can do uh, on the outside is the, um, the light if it's dark. You want to show them that? Yes. So here is a button for the exterior light. Just turn it on. And that's going to have this string light right here. Yep, so the light's over there. And you can actually, there's a dimmer, so you can yep. make it brighter and or lower. The, yep, and the dimmer is right next to, and I didn't even know this before, but yeah, I didn't notice that, but you can go up and down on that dimmer. And a good way to indicate, um, that indicates what the light is outside is right here. We actually have a step light. And this, uh, you can't tell right now because it's daytime, but when you dim it, this actually gets dimmed as well. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay. And just remember, um, don't go past the sticker. Oh, for the awning. Yeah. yeah, and in general, they are pretty fragile. So if it gets a little windy, you need to pull it in. Yes, that's the biggest thing is these awnings are super fragile. They are they can, attached they to like $5,000 for repairs. Yeah, replace, they can cost so. up to 5,000 to replace or repair. So make sure you um, retract it when, when you're leaving the, the, the motor home or um, whenever you see any signs of wind uh, over here. So these are the two connection points right here. 